apple juice would be wonderful. I just end up, you know, working on dirty old shopping carts. Fixing them up, selling them back to the grocery stores. I only make about 80 bucks a month. You know, just enough for cat food and my lot fees. Who's a good boy? So here's my shed right here. I've been living in these most of my life. This is a good cart, even though there's no fucking wheels on it. I got wheels at home that'll fit right on her. It's a fucking gold mine down there. Come back for those cocksuckers later. This cart is fucked. One good fucking wheel, that's it. Every kitty I ever met loves these things. Smell him. He smells like cigarettes. Kitties aren't supposed to smell like cigarettes. They're supposed to smell like kitties. These might be just cats to you, Ricky, but these are my fucking family. Show them a little respect. You try growing up on your own, living in a fucking shed all by yourself, and nobody to fucking talk to and be nice to. That's the only thing I have that didn't judge me. Call me a big googly-eyed bastard. It's for the Super Cats Cat Show. I do that every year, you know that. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time before my cart business and Ricky and Julian's dope business collided. Holy fuck! Get down! Get the fuck down! That's Gary the head mall cop. You're not the one who gets the calls from head office night and day asking about stolen shopping carts more. Well, why don't you fucking turn your cell phone off, Gary? Don't fuck with me, Bubbles. Got all this pressure on me to get all these fucking carts and I come down to the mall and... Gary's fucking all over me. Fuck, Ricky, don't let the cocks out of yourself now. Delicate, Ricky, delicate. That's blue dye under pressure. That whore blows and we all look like those blue bald headed dicks that beat the drums. Got it. I'm surprised this is going really well, boys. Tell him you received official notice today that this shit shot has been officially condemned. You can't do that, Mr. Lady. That's all I have for me and my kitties. You will hear Ricky. What the fuck did you guys do to my shed? I don't know what happened, Bubbles, but we could probably rebuild. It's no big deal. No big deal? Take a look around, Ricky. I fucking lost everything. That's my fucking bubble maker. That was the only thing I had that my parents gave me before they fucking deserted me in this shed, which I don't have anymore. Uh, fuck. God. Bubbles, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, boys. A little disappointed in you. Right now, I think, uh, I think Bubbles has totally lost his mind. I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you for stealing this train for me. Bubbles, 
You stole the train, man. We had nothing to do with it. No, it was like, even though Bubbles was Bubbles, he was two people at the same time as being Bubbles. And, you know, he tried to act like this other person who wasn't Bubbles, but he was still Bubbles. It was, it was fucked. I can't wait to start fucking hammering people. Green Bastard, parts unknown. Nice. Bubbles, who's Bubbles? I'm the fucking Green Bastard, parts unknown, baby. Corey, Trevor, get the fuck in the ring. Aston Rose. In grade six, Bubbles made this puppet he called Conky. What a little asshole. Well, I think it might be a good idea to go on an adventure with Julian and Ricky. Julian, I can't be responsible for every little thing that comes out of his mouth, you know? I don't know, man. He kind of, there was, he kind of snapped there for, you know, a second. I, it's pretty fucking weird. Tell me. the end of him and then he went back in the swamp and he's been there ever since till now hello richard <laughs> i'm fucking devastated hey i'm bobby tarcolino 